for those who don't know, could you break down just super high level what um, Augur is and sort of this concept of building something on top of the Ethereum network? Absolutely. Um, yeah, so Augur is, uh, you know, as a product itself, it is a, uh, it is a decentralized and peer-to-peer -peer prediction market. Um, in other terms, you know, it is a uh, decentralized uh, betting platform. It's a place where two people can enter into uh, some sort of uh, bet or agreement or contract uh, with one another. Um, but it's built on top of Ethereum, as you said. Um, so essentially all of the, the logic and the uh, existence of Augur itself uh, lives on Ethereum as a set of smart contracts and software. So there's no central owner of it. There's no uh, there's no business that uh, you know operates these contracts or the website or anything that has to do with it. It's uh, you know it's it's almost like it's kind of entirely owned by the people that end up using it themselves. Um, you know, just because we develop it or we create the software, um, it's all open source. Um, it's it's you know we have no more power or control or you know uh, any sort of executive. Uh, uh, you know, power over Augur or the software itself than you do, you know, going on it and using it today. Um, so that's kind of what Ethereum, the cool thing about Ethereum allows you to do is you can, you can build these sorts of applications in a way where uh, you can remove the middleman. Um, and, you know, we can get into that afterwards, but there's a, you know, a lot of benefits of being able to essentially remove that middleman, particularly, you know, from certain sort of, uh, uh, businesses or uh, services that exist. Um, a lot of those middlemen exist uh, to be, you know, kind of uh, simply some level of rent seeking or, or uh, some level of rent seeker where they just kind of sit in the middle, they take their fee, you know, they don't really provide too much. Uh, you know, sometimes they, they do bad things. Um, essentially, you know, you give somebody centralized power or authority long enough, um, eventually it kind of becomes corrupt in one way or another. So that's kind of yeah. the you do. A uh, big fan of this whole vision of decentralized systems and, you know, Vitalik Buterin, this like crazy boy genius, you know, gets super obsessed with Bitcoin, comes up with this Ethereum network. I was actually, I wrote a bunch about Ethereum in my book like a few years ago, back when I was super into crypto. And uh, this whole concept, like I was an investor in it, of like the decentralized computer of the world, able to run all these applications that I actually divested from Ethereum because it got like this huge spike to like a million transactions a day, then sort of fell down to half a million after that initial crypto craze. But now we've sort of seen it go back up. And to me, the value of Ethereum is always tied to what are the, the value of the dApps built on top of it, decentralized applications. And that's where Augur comes in is you are one of the leading decentralized applications built on the Ethereum network. In theory, you know, projects like yours are what give that Ethereum network value or the first sort of tools and apps to be built on this new decentralized platform. So, so, so exciting.